What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel if you are new and today I have another video for you guys. So today I have a, another meal prep with me video. So I'm going to show you guys a lunch and a dinner. And I'm going to show you guys what I meal prep for this week. And if you guys didn't see my last video, I did do a, another video on meal prepping and what I meal prep for that week. So I will have that link down in the description box if you have not seen that one. But yeah, basically different meals, both lunch and dinner. So I normally, I won't meal prep breakfast because it's just so fast to make. And also I just find I don't want to eat like four or five day old eggs. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. A lot of these ingredients I'm gonna be using for the meal prep video. So I have some berries, which I'm gonna use as snacks, bananas, this breakfast sausage, orange peppers, broccoli, tomatoes, cucumber, bagels for breakfast lean ground turkey, just some sandwich meat, whole wheat pitas. So the first meal is chicken, potatoes, and broccoli. So you just want to put some parchment paper on a pan. And then you're just going to stick 12 chicken wings on the parchment paper. And then you're going to season the chicken wings. So I'm using the keg seasoning and also I de-skinned all of these chicken wings and if you de-skin them it lowers the amount of fat per chicken wing. And also I'm putting on some onion powder and this makes the wings taste so good. Next, I'm gonna cut up about eight potatoes and you just wanna cut them into small pieces. That way they'll cook faster and it will also taste better because it will absorb more of the spice flavor that we're gonna be putting on these potatoes. So you're just going to put the potato pieces on another pan lined with parchment paper and you want to make sure to spread out all of the pieces evenly. And you're just going to put some oil all over the potatoes. And then you're going to season it with some dried parsley. And then you're also going to season it with some salt. And then you're just going to want to take a spoon and you're going to mix the potato pieces to make sure that the oil is spread evenly and also the salt and the dried parsley. And then you're going to throw both the chicken wings and the potatoes into the oven to bake. So now we're just going to take the head of the broccoli, you're going to cut it up into smaller pieces. And you also want to wash your broccoli as well. You're going to put a large pot of water and you're going to bring it to a boil and once it boils you're going to put all of the broccoli inside of the pot. After you've let the broccoli boil for a bit and it's softened you can drain out the broccoli. And 
And once your potatoes and your chicken wings are done baking, you're just gonna wanna ration out your meals. So the next meal is healthy burritos. So I'm starting off with cutting up some tomatoes because I'm going to be using the tomatoes to make a homemade pico de gallo. You're going to also want to cut up half of an onion and you're going to dice it into really small pieces. And then you want to put the tomatoes and the onions into a large container and then you're going to proceed into cutting up some cilantro. And then you're going to put the cilantro in the same container as the diced onions and tomatoes. Okay, so now you're going to put some lime juice on it. So usually I will just estimate this part. And you're also going to put some sea salt. And then you're also going to season it with some black pepper. And then finally, you want to give it a good stir to make sure that all of the ingredients are mixed properly and evenly. So you can either buy the block of cheese and shred it like what I'm doing here or you can just buy shredded cheese if you don't want to shred it but usually the block cheese will be um, less expensive than the shredded one so I usually just go for the block one and shred it myself. And then you're gonna put two packages of either ground turkey or ground chicken into a pan to fry and I'm seasoning it with chili powder because I feel like it tastes very similar to the old El Paso seasoning and usually I will use that to season it but I didn't have any so a substitute is chili powder. So you're just gonna let that cook and you're gonna wanna constantly stir the ground turkey or ground chicken. Once it's done cooking, you're just going to put that into a large bowl. So I also washed a can of black beans to add to this and also I will use like large whole wheat pitas to make my healthy burritos and it just tastes so good with these four ingredients. And also something that I have almost every day is protein from Women's Best. So I will use the all-in-one whey protein or I will use the Fit Whey 100% premium whey protein. So I do have the flavor strawberry and also the chocolate flavor and the macros on these two protein types are really good. If you guys were interested, I do have a code that you can use and it's just Lucy and sometimes if I'm gonna be spending my whole day at school I will put the protein into little Ziploc bags like this and then I'll just pour it into my water bottle So that was it for
for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And also if you guys were looking for more meal prep examples or meal examples and want to just learn more about nutrition, I do offer online motivation and accountability training for eight weeks. And basically I customize your workouts based on your goals and also provide you with a nutrition information, calories and macros, meal examples. And also a lot of the workouts are very unique. Instead of just giving you like boring workouts, they're all very fun and interesting. And a lot of my clients have enjoyed it. So yeah, if you guys were interested, I will have that link down in the description box for you guys. More information will be on my online personal training website. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.